Hello everyone and welcome to your 7th Blender tutorial in my series of Blender tutorials. <clears throat> um, this is the second part of my tutorial on how to create a basic sword. And um, <clears throat> in this tutorial we're going to create a handle and scale the sword, the sword down to a proper size. Because if you try and hit F12 right now, you'll probably see that this sword is big and actually way too big to be in the uh, rendering frame so we're gonna scale it down but we're not going to do that before we um <coughs> before we made the handle so now that you're here you left click around here to bring the um crosshair cursor there now you uh, hit the spacebar transform snap cursor to grid and now your um, unless you hit perfectly on the cursor unless you perfectly place the cursor on the grid your cursor should move a little bit now you hit add or spacebar add mesh cube and now we are going to scale down this cube as we never scaled down before. So we're going to say S and Z to scale it on the Z axis to make it not so tall. Now we're just going to do this and make sure to place it under the um, blade because you know we don't want the handle above the blade. That look kind of silly so uh, we're not going to do that. And make sure it's something like this. Now you hit S, X to make it longer. So we have a long blade or a long handle, I'm sorry. And now move this up a little bit and also scale it on the Y axis to make it a little wider and now if we try and go to the zero numpad to see it from the camera's point of view and hit F12 You'll see that we got a basic hilt. It uh, still has some more work to do on it. A lot of work actually, you'll see, because we placed it a little wrong. So once you have this selected again, you just pull the screen arrow a little bit to make it put it on a more equal position. Now, S again and wide scale it on the Y axis so it's not that <coughs> fat. Now you hit it 12 again. See how it looks. And now that's a clear change. And it'll look much better when it gets scaled down. Now you just hit zero again to get rid of the camera's point of view. And now you go until it looks something like this. Rotate it until it looks something like this. And I see also that the blade is placed a little wrong. So pull this arrow until it's in the middle or something now you right click this um, hill right here you hit shift D to duplicate it and now you while it's selected you hit R to rotate it and we're going to rotate it until it looks something like this and that is around 90 degrees now it's time to go to the zero button again and pull the um, blue arrow make sure it's inside um, so now it's underneath the hilt and now we're going to zoom in because we don't want the handle just as big as the hilt so we're going to say just scale it normally by only hitting S key now we can try and zoom a little bit 
and as you see we're going to pull the blue arrow again until it looks like this try and hit zero again see it from the camera's point of view and zoom a little bit out and pan at the right places and that kind of stuff now you see the hill is just way too big but if you try and hit of 12 you see that we have a um kind of a sword but now we gotta scale down the hilt and the um the blade we don't need to scale down the handle furthermore because then it'll just be too small again so you select the hilt while holding it down control and oops sorry no you hit B and make sure that only the um, hilt and the blade is selected. Make sure that there's no purple line around the handle. Hit zero again to so go into this view. Now you hit S just to scale it down. And it's going to be scale, 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 scale. And now as you see actually, I again was wrong. Now we have to make the um, only the Hilt a little bit longer, so you hit S X. Scale on the X axis, make it something like this. That's good enough. Now we're going to pan down a little bit to get a full view of the handle. And as you see, that clearly has to be um, sized down too. So you hit S, just normal S, and probably want to make it not so fat. Oh, longer. So to make it not so fat, you hit S X or not. Oops, S Y then. Yep. Kind of mess things up sometimes. It's a long time since I made a sword. So um, now you just pull the red arrow, the green arrow. Zoom down a little bit, or you know, rotate it the camera's point of view and pull the handle underneath the um, underneath the hill again. And as you see, this can be quite a challenge. And again, I feel like, mm, I don't know really, if it has to be scaled down more or anything, or if it's just fine, I don't know, we can try and hit F12 to get a final view of what we just did. Mm, I feel like we might actually want to change the hilt just a little bit, and the handle just a little bit. So, and you know, it's not like you can ever make a perfect sword in one try because that's modeling, you know. You gotta adjust sizes and merges all the time, so uh, yeah, that's a little hard. And that's why I couldn't just, even though the first uh, part of this tutorial on making a sword only took four minutes, now you see why I didn't make it all in one tutorial because you never know if there's anything that needs to be merged more and that stuff, so um, yeah. Now, while you have the um, handle selected, you hit S and Z to make it shorter. This should do. And again, now just pull the blue arrow. And now select the hilt. Now hit S, X to scale it on the X axis, which will make it shorter up here. Mm, this should be fine. Now, you try and Again, make sure you're in the camera's point of view. Zoom out like this, and now let's try and hit F12 to see what it looks like. And now this is a sword. So um, next time we're going to texture everything, you know, the blade, and um, we're going to add some light to it. And we're also going to texture the hilt and the handle. So um, yeah. I'll see you in the next and final part of uh, making a sword.
And by the way, you can skip that part if you just point the sword as it looks right now. If you don't want any texture or anything to it, just a blank basic model, then you can skip the next part, but I suppose most of you would like a actual um, texture to it, or at least I would. So uh, yeah, follow along next tutorial if you feel like it. Bye bye.